This is my 2023 Nissan Z and today we're going to be going over exactly what I have done to this and how much it costs to build this thing. It's hard to believe that it hasn't even been a year with this car yet just seeing how far it's come. It's honestly been an incredible experience just owning and building this car but today I just want to give you guys a little breakdown of exactly what we have done to this thing and not only that but how much it costs to build this. Now just keep in mind that these prices that I'm giving you guys aren't exactly the prices that I paid. These are just the prices of how much much it would cost to build a car very similar to this first off is the wide body kit i get a ton of questions asking what wide body kit we are running this is the street hunters designs wide body kit for the nissan z this is by far my favorite wide body kit out for this car right now i feel like there is no other wide body on the market that matches the oem body lines of the z in certain angles like maybe right here it doesn't even look like there's a wide body kit it just looks like this car is this wide i love the fact that they didn't do exposed hardware it's all hidden hardware hardware in the back. It's a full front fender replacement and then everything else is hidden hardware as well. I love the fact that this wide body kit is just so plain, simple, and clean. Street Hunters Designs absolutely killed it with this kit. Now keep in mind, this is the kit with the arrow. So basically we have a little rear diffuser right there, side splitters right over there, and then a little front splitter over here. On the Street Hunters website right now, this kit costs about $7,000. This is with the FRP arrow package, which is exactly the arrow package that we have on this car. Honestly, seven grand for a wide body kit isn't too bad this wide body kit came with pretty much everything that you need the only thing that i will say that you have to buy separately that doesn't come with the kit is the hardware that actually mounts the kit onto the car that hardware you have to buy yourself but besides that everything pretty much comes inside the box this is my 100 complete honest review the fitment on this kit is very good compared to other kits in the past it is very very good is it perfect no because no fiberglass kits are ever perfect but it is one of the better ones i highly recommend this kit for anybody looking for a wide body kit for their nissan z this kit is incredible since we're already on the exterior let's go ahead and talk about this color no this is not nardo gray i get so many questions asking if it's nardo gray and it kills me because i wanted a color that's very similar to nardo gray but it is not nardo gray the one thing i really love about this color is that it's so dynamic when it's dark out this color is extremely dark and when it's light out this color is extremely light super super dynamic this color is actually grigio telesto i might be wrong on that one but i believe it's an old Lamborghini color. The color code is P6M. And a little fun fact, I actually painted this car myself. I've painted a couple of cars in the past for fun, but by no means am I an actual car painter. It's just a hobby I picked up a couple of years ago and I like to do it. And this is by far the best paint job I have ever done. I'm super proud of this thing. The paint job on this came out perfect or at least as perfect as I can get it. I'm really happy with how this thing came out. The color is absolutely gorgeous. So since I did this paint job myself, I obviously didn't have to pay much for the paint job, but in paint and materials alone, this cost me about $2,000. Now, obviously, if you guys wanted to get your car painted, you have to pay a ton in labor. That's where it kind of gets expensive. Everything that you see in gray is painted as well as the splitter kit. The entire splitter kit is painted in black. I prefer to paint this black rather than wrap it just so there's a nice deeper black the roof however is wrapped black and this is why i don't wrap cars because look at this i got this professionally wrapped and it's still starting to bubble up and then look at that orange peel this is apparently like one of those wraps that don't have any orange peel and i get it like compared to other wraps it may not have orange peel but look at that dude there is a ton of orange peel in this wrap the whole roof i'm not really that happy with i might have to get it rewrapped i might just end up painting it black to be honest i don't know yet the roof is wrapped as well as these little pillar pieces that in material and labor cost me about $200. Oh yeah, and then this little blade thing that goes down the side that used to be silver. I think it comes silver on all these. That got wrapped black as well. As for the tint, we are running 5% on the side, 5% on the back glass, and then 15% on the front windshield. I believe that we got ceramic tint on this thing and the tint cost about $400. As for the exterior, last but not least, we are running the low glow underglow kit. This is the best underglow on the market. You guys already know. No, we have over 200 different color options. The LEDs are super bright. The company is owned by a couple of car guys just like us. I highly recommend you guys go ahead and check them out. The low glow kit for this car in specific cost about $330. Now the prices of their kit could vary depending on the size of your car. I'll leave a link to their website down in the description. You guys can go snag yourself a kit. As far as just the exterior, I think that's about it. Now let's quickly talk about the wheels and suspension. The wheels are another thing I keep getting questions about 
what wheels are these? These are the Workmeister L1s. The reason why I really wanted these on this car was because they look very similar to like an old Nismo style wheel. I am a huge fan of Workmeisters. Honestly speaking, I want a full set of Meisters, the M1s, L1s, and S1s. I already have the S1s on the BRZ. I got the L1s here. I just need another car to put the M1s on. I love Meisters. I love the way they look. And I thought that these Meisters would just look perfect on the Z. So the specs on these bad boys is 19 by 11 and a half squared all the way around. As for the offset, I don't remember the exact number, but for some reason, I just, I want to say negative 64. I really think that they're negative 64. Now, obviously these wheels are very aggressive. That's why we're running a little bit of camber. If you guys are going to run this kit and don't want any camber, obviously go a little bit less than that, but we are running absolutely no spacers. Camber wise, we're running about negative 10 degrees squared. For the tires, we are running Toyo Proxies R888Rs, 295, 30, 19. And that is of course squared as well. Now, if you were to buy these wheels in this spec, 19 by 11 and a half, they would run you about $4,600. And like I mentioned before, these are the Toyo Proxy R888, 295, 30, 19. And they will run you about 1500 bucks for all four. As for the suspension, we're obviously running on air ride, but we're not just running any air ride. We're running the best of the best bag riders, super lows, baby. The full package from bag riders costs about 4,145. This comes with literally everything, the air tank, the struts, the management, and the compressor, everything that you need to put your car on some air suspension. I'm running bag riders, super lows on not only this car, but also the BRZ. They are my favorite air suspension setup I've ever had. I've been running air suspension for like, I think seven years now. I've tried a bunch of different air struts. By far, Bag Rider Super Lows are my favorite. They ride amazing. They're super comfy. They have a ton of travel and their customer service is amazing. We went over to the Bag Riders headquarters earlier this year. We got a tour of how they build everything. Little fun fact, they build everything in-house. Like all the air struts that they sell from Super Lows, they build in-house. They build and quality test every single strut before they go ahead and sell it. And if anything goes wrong, their warranty is amazing. In my opinion, at least, they are just the best option to go with when it comes to aftermarket air suspension. I definitely recommend checking them out. We are running the super lows on the Z and it is running amazing. Now I know most people aren't going to be interested in what camber arms we're running, but uh, for those of you who are interested, we're going to zoom through it real quick. Starting off with the rear, we are running Megan Racing rear upper control arms. Brand new, they go for about $450. And we are also running Voodoo rear camber arms and they go for about $230. And then coming over to the front, we are running Megan Racing upper control arms. Those were about $300. Now where you really get your camber from is shortened and tilted spindles. Those were about $450. I want to go over my interior, but let's see how dirty my car is. Okay. It's not too bad. The seats that we are running are the Corbo RRSs. This is the diamond stitched with the black stitching. There are a ton of different options that you can get. Corbo has like a million different variations that you can get in their seats. These are the reclinable ones. And also the coolest thing about these seats is that they have a heated seat option. Dude, you can retain the factory heated seat and your aftermarket Corbo seat will have heated seats. We do in fact have the heated seat option on these seats. So with the heated seat option and the these exact seats, the total price comes out to about $12.90. Even after doing a bunch of road trips in this car, these seats look good as new. I'm really happy with the way these seats match the interior of the car. They definitely look aftermarket, but they don't look out of place by any means. These seats were essential and not only did they look cool, they also feel amazing, super comfy. From this experience alone, I highly recommend checking out Corbo seats. Corbo has a ton of different color options and style options that you guys can choose from if you guys are interested. Kind of wish I had a lift right now, but let's go over the exhaust real quick. Uh, we are running the AAM catless downpipes. They are the full catless downpipes, not the half downpipes. From factory, this car comes with four catalytic converters. That's kind of insane. Four catalytic converters, like really, do we need that? We don't, but these downpipes, delete all four of them. There is another option where you can get half down pipes and it only deletes two of them. It's a really common option. It's a really popular option. Personally, I didn't want to do that. I want to completely delete the four catalytic converters. So we are running AAM full catalyst down pipes on this car. This car is very quiet from factory. So that alone was like an insane upgrade. So on the AAM competition website, the full catalyst down pipes are about $800 and they're running sale right now. So if you guys are trying to save some money on full catalyst down pipe, right now is the time to get them. Not only are we running the full catalyst Atlas downpipes, but we are also running the MAP full straight pipe cat back. So on the MAP website, you can actually get two different variations of this exhaust. And uh, the only difference is really the tip. You can either get the polished tips or the burnt
burnt tips. I kind of like the burnt tips. They look cool. Now this exhaust runs you about $15.50. This exhaust is one of the best exhausts on the market. It sounds so freaking good. The exhaust setup on this car is pretty simple. All it is is just downpipes and then the cap back. That's literally it. Now since we're on the aspect of performance, let's talk about our tune. This car was just recently tuned by the one and only Sonic Tuned. Sonic Tuned is like the guy for tuning VR30s. Over the past few years, he's had a ton of experience tuning VR30s when they came in Infinities, and now he's like the go-to guy for these cars. I feel like everyone I talked to that got these cars tuned got it tuned by Sonic Tune. So he was like the go-to guy I had to go to. He worked his magic on this car. Now this car sounds amazing. We have a few different maps for this car. We've got low boost, which I almost never use. We've got high boost, race mode, which is just a little step up from high boost, and then we've got flames. Now the flames tune is just there for some pictures and videos to make the car look just a little bit cooler. If you guys have a Nissan Z or anything with a VR30 or probably any Nissan. So he does Nissan Zs, Q50s, Q60s, VQ37s, and then QZs and M's. I don't know what M's are, but yeah, my man does Nissan stuff. So if you need your Nissan tune, hit him up. The 2023 VR30 Nissan Z ECU Tech full remote package is about $1,400. This is not only for the tune, this is for the whole ECU kit license and tune. If you guys have a Nissan and are looking to get tuned, I would highly recommend checking out Sonic Tune. The man is great to work with and he made this car just drive amazing. The car hasn't been driven for like almost two weeks now. It's a little dirty. I need to wash it, but I forgot to mention to you guys these lug nuts. We have here the Nismo lug nuts, baby. The matte black looks cool with the wheels and then the little red O in Nismo matches the brake calipers, so that was kind of cool. The Nismo lug nuts are like 90 bucks. They were like that one little touch that we just had to do. Just knowing that like we did almost everything on this car is really rewarding looking at it knowing that I built it it feels really really good this car is pretty simple we didn't do much to it we might do a couple more things in the future if you guys have any suggestions for changing something up on this car or if you guys just want to talk about what you would have rather done on this car leave it down in the comments I'm really curious to see what you guys would have done that is gonna be all for this one thank you guys so much for watching I will catch you guys in the next one peace out